This story just gets more heartbreaking as we learn more information. The Warwick police chaplain says that the mother actually witnessed her husband shoot their child and she was the one to call 911. The community now coming together to show their support. Flags were flown at half staff at the Warwick Early Learning Center where the school district's committee chair says four year old Liam Dempsey attended. School administrators, parents and the entire Warwick community shaken up by what happened. I mean that kid had a whole life ahead of him. Kim Ayers doesn't know the family personally, but has family members that do. There's a, another brother, and I'm sure he's, you know, God knows what he's going through. The Warwick Police Chaplain, Father Robert Marciano, telling 12 News that brother was at school when he learned what happened to his younger sibling. And this young man, you know, his world collapses. Father Marciano also helping the mother cope after he said she witnessed her husband, Seamus Dempsey, shoot their child, Liam, before taking his own life. It's a mother's nightmare for any child to die, but for a child to die in this manner is, is something that is life-changing for her. I kept telling her, you're not alone. You know, we're here for you, your family's here for you, but also the community will help you get through this. Investigators returning to the scene Friday, doing their due diligence to figure out a motive. This as they try to cope with their own emotions. These aren't machines. These are human beings that have to respond to the worst case scenarios. They have to figure out how to put that somewhere and, and respond to the next call, the next day, the next hour, and that's really hard to do. And though we may never get all the answers, the community says the family will remain in their thoughts and prayers. I don't know if you can ever get through this, but, you know, I hope that you can. And if Warwick can help you in any way, please, we will do whatever we can to help you. I mean, that's all you can do. I was able to speak to some of the investigators who stopped by the home today. They told me it, it's been a difficult investigation, but it is part of the job and that they are grateful for all the resources they have available. Reporting on Warwick, I'm Alex Torres Perez, 12 News.